Yo, what is going on guys? Your boy Russ back again with some more Madden 17 Ultimate Team. Guys, no changes to the squad. This is a really, really good game, man. There was a lot, well, there was a big fail in this game, courtesy of yours truly. I mean, it wouldn't be a Dangerous 13 Madden video without a giant fuck up on my part. But you guys can see he does have a couple of the new, new Combine players. He does have the new Bruce Irvin and the uh, Marcus Mariota that is basically Russell Wilson. But with Marcus Mariota character model? I don't know. It's weird, man. But look at that. On the first play, or on the second play, actually, he got stuck on his D-line. He went back to try to play that route. Um, he must have knew what I was doing. But I threw it anyway because I was like, okay, there was, there's no way he's going to get a pick with a fucking D-tackle. And sure enough, it ends up being caught. So I guess the dude either went for the pick or he didn't go for the SWAT or whatever. But we do end up finding Randy Moss wide open in the end zone. I guess he, he really fucked up on his coverage. I think he may have brought somebody down. Um, because he was running cover four. And then on the first play of our defensive drive, he does end up fumbling as we do strip it out with Demario Davis. That is actually a new pickup. I think we had him last video, though. We replaced Navarro Bowman with him. Um, I might actually end up getting Navarro Bowman back and just subbing in Jadavion Clowney at middle linebacker. You know, not great zone, but he should be able to lay the wood in 6-5 over the middle of the field. Will be very, very mean. So I might end up just getting Navarro Bowman back and selling Demario Davis. But look at this play, man. Kyle Rudolph, get the fuck off me, and then he dies. God damn it. So we end up giving him the ball right back. His was a hit stick. Mine was a strip. But it's almost like ours never happens. So, I mean, this is basically his first drive. Granted, he does start from the 12 now. But, uh, yeah, that's just unfortunate. You know, we get the strip. He gets the big hit on a tight end, too. I don't know what Kyle Rudolph's carrying is. Obviously, can't be that good. So now he's got lock up on defense. Obviously, we didn't see much of his offense, if any, you know, on, on the first drive. But he does end up mixing up his play calling a lot. You know, there's a lot of people in this game, including myself, that like to stick to the same um, formations, usually the same plays. And then when those get locked up, then you start to, you know, dig into your playbook and go to things you don't usually run. This dude changed his play calling up a lot and uh, changed his plays a lot. He ran a lot of C routes, though. Um, but, you know, I pretty much I don't know how to defend those completely. I don't think anybody does. But on fourth and nine, look at this, man. That is a super dot. Like... <laughs> I send a dumb nickel blitz that everybody knows how to stop. He rolls out to the right, plays it perfectly, and then just fires the dot downfield. Um, if I would have covered that guy, it wouldn't have been open, but I was running zone, so the zones broke down. But, uh, yeah, I can't really remember what I was saying. I was saying something about play calling or something like that, but this dude did change up his stuff a lot. C route. I was talking about C routes. I can't really guard those. I try to, but then it seems like most of the time my zones just go full retard, but, you know, there always are those times where either I strip it out or I'm able to stop it because I commit to it. Or something like that. But C routes, I think everybody has a problem with those. And then right here, he tries to go to the back of the end zone. High points of Will Fuller. And I see that coming eventually. But he does it again. And I thought that Will Fuller was like going to run out the back of the end zone. I didn't think he would have been able to get that pass. So I just kind of stopped covering him. Bad idea on my part. And then this dude does a great job of covering my play. That I usually come out in. But I ran the play once. And then it's like after that, he knew exactly what it was doing. But we do high points to Randy Moss over the middle. Get us a nice bit of, uh, bit of yards back. Third and five. He covers my play pretty well. I think we had Ed McCaffrey open. And again, I'm trying to slide, and it does not let me slide. Let me know if you guys are having that problem. Um, I just, for some reason, it does not let me slide when I try to, like, at the last second. And it's honestly a little bit frustrating. We're right there. Randy Moss on an out route does turn it up field and get to the six. And then he completely destroys me with it. Looks like Vaughn Miller. I don't know. Some number 58. Second and goal. Plays it really well. Plays my QB rush. That I was trying to do very well. You guys know I like to try to run in with Russell when I'm at this position, but then we do end up running with Russell, and we do end up getting in and diving into the end zone for a touchdown, so we do go up 14-7, but you guys can see 14 seconds left, just enough time for him to score or do something stupid, or for me to do something stupid as he swerves the fuck out of me, and then with seven seconds left, I decide to run cover four. Not a good fucking idea, as Cyprian, for some reason, comes down to the middle of the field, leaves the deep part of the field wide open, and that is a touchdown as we end up giving up seven points before half so he ties it up that was a complete fail but you guys know i've done that before and then chris Conley just wants to shit all over my corners and i may have been a linebacker i'm not sure who that was either way crazy catch so now this dude no matter what if he gets a field goal range he's most likely gonna have the lead unless he throws a pick or fumbles or something like that and he has fumbled before but that's just a huge fuck up on my part that was a bad play by me i just thought the cyprian was gonna play deep I shaded everybody deep, and he just did not play it well. Second and seven, he does take off with Mariota. 
Uh, Mario is very shifty in the open field, kind of like Russell Wilson. I feel like Mario probably has some more loose. Actually, you know what? I looked at the card. They're pretty much the same. Russell Wilson and Mario are basically clones of each other. So save yourself some coins and get yourself a Russell Wilson if you are looking to pick up that Mario. Unless you're a Titans fan, I understand. Third and seven, he look and he finds Will Fuller. That dude just keeps on tearing up my defense. First and ten, he's looking for the end zone. He's trying to high point it, and it is intercepted by Trey Waynes. He knew exactly what he was going to. He actually tries to go to his tight end right there, and Trey Waynes jumps in front of it. Not a very good read because he was not open, and it wasn't even close to being, you know, he should have ran to the open side of the field. I was using Odell um, in the middle, and I completely left it open. He just threw it too early, I think, and uh, just made a hasty read, and sure enough, it got picked off. So now we are in great position to at least get in field goal range. You guys see Darren McFadden has got us into field goal range at the 37, but first and 10, my fucking tight end doesn't even want to block, and we end up getting sacked out of field goal range. So now at the 44-yard line, we try to chuck it up to Randy Moss, and this is actually our first end completion of the game with Russell Wilson, 9 for 10 now. We do end up running on third and 17 just to try to get ourselves back in a field goal range, and I try to come out and field goal, and we, we can't make it. We can't make it even with full power. So now we have to go for a fourth and 14. He sends the spy down. Great play. I end up just throwing it up, hoping it's intercepted. And sure enough, it is. I went for it just out of pure anger and frustration, and I just threw it. I threw it because he was covering it. I was hoping that it was going to be like a glorified punt. And sure enough, it was. And now on second and 11, we do end up sacking him with David Emerson. Third and 19. Pressure coming from Clowney. He throws it back across the field to, I don't know who that is. That might be Darren McFadden. I'm not sure. And he does end up punting on fourth and 10. We come out and save zone. And right here, I make a dumb decision. I try to return it, and we end up getting hit. Luckily, it was just Trey Wayne. So no big hit, no fumble, no nothing. First and 10, look at this play, man. We fake him out. He's thinking I'm going to run the play that I ran the past couple times I was in that formation, and we completely switch it up. We run to the other side of the field, and Kyle Rudolph is wide open, and we get to the 29-yard line, and now if we get a first down, this game could be over. Granted, he could ice my kicker, but third and five, I play it smart. Make sure he has to use all of his timeouts. Theo Reddick almost gets the first, but we do end up taking the field goal, and that will leave him 23 seconds on the clock. 17-14 is the score, and with no timeouts, this dude needs a miracle. We cover his route over the middle. Granted, we don't cover that one, but all we have to do is tackle him in bounds, and sure enough, we do. He ends up going back into the playbook to call a play. Comes out in the same formation, and with one second left, he tries to chuck it up, but Will Fuller stops on his route, comes back down. It is caught, but it is well short of the end zone by 29 yards, and we do end up winning and guys, I checked after this game because this dude played so well. And because I was actually, I mean, he played really well. You know, I ain't going to, you know, say shit, say he was an easy opponent. He was pretty tough. So I end up looking at the top 100. This dude was actually ranked 24th in the world. His record, you guys will see it in a second. Um, I think it was like 450 something and 150 something. It was insane. A really great record. The dude was pretty damn good. And, uh, you know, I was surprised when I saw that he was top 100. Um, not Well, I mean, I wasn't surprised because the dude seemed pretty good, but I was surprised that he was ranked that high up there. So, uh, Dewey Swizz, 321, GG to you, sir. I doubt you're watching this, but 445 and 159, definitely a great record. And we do end up, I guess, breaking a winning streak he had because now he's minus one. But anyway, I did hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to look out for the next one. And as always, the Anders Army, I'm out. Also, I'm not trying to brag that I'd be a tw the 24th ranked person in the world. We all know the ranking system's broken. I thought it was kind of cool. That was it. I didn't want to come off as like I was gloating. I'm not. It's fucking Madden. Who cares?